Lisa, a Thai-born K-pop singer, perform at Paris Le Crazy House Cabaret and it nearly shattered the internet in China. To this point, the hashtag Lisa Crazy Horse Show has received 1.7 billion views, over 4 million interactions, and about 130,000 comments on one of China's social media platforms, Weibo. Most people were shocked and dismayed by her decision, calling the cabaret dance risk, while others praised Lisa for her brave defense of the freedoms of women. Hold on, even so, what on earth is it in the event that matters to China? In fact, there is. Chinese netizens are also bombarding two Chinese mainland actresses who allegedly watched the performance. The outrage has been so intense that some have petitioned the Chinese government to blacklist these two. But again, why? To solve this enigma, we need to make sure you understand how Blackpink is unlike any other South Korean girl group and their massive global influence. The group stage presence conveys a badass, fun, playful but mature image, immediately distinguishing them from prior K-pop girls' greasy, cute, and innocent-looking style. Their lyrics are really empowering and their songs consistently make Blinks feel good about themselves. Because of their particular future, Blackpink has over 91 million YouTube subscribers, surpassing Justin Bieber and Taylor Swift as the top two in the world entertainment industry. Concurrent with the unstoppable wave of feminism around the world, the appeal of girl crush they created has effectively grabbed a large number of female admirers as well as those from the LGBT community worldwide. Instead of being the girls in every man's fantasy, they became the girls that most women fantasize about, being free to be oneself regardless of judgmental remarks. Lisa was best known for her amazing dance skills that combined beauty and power, quickly became an image of an empowered woman for her 98 million Instagram followers. Her reputation in China skyrocketed after she appeared as a mentor in a Chinese girl group competition reality show, Youth With You, in 2020. Her amazing stage presence and meticulous work ethic of paying attention to details wowed the audience. She rapidly became the embodiment of a strong, elegant, and graceful woman. Her dance and inspiring growing up stories speak louder than words that a woman should be recognized for her hard work rather than her superficial attractiveness in any industry. Yet, all of a sudden, she boldly announced that she will be appearing at La Crazy House Cabaret, a venue noted for its stage acts featuring naked female dancers. The cabaret emphasizes that it is a renowned institution with significant artistic characteristics as opposed to a typical strip club. However, the vast majority of Chinese regard cabaret as a vulgar enterprise that violates societal values. There's a mix of supporters and criticizers. If you look closely, you'll notice it's no longer about Lisa. Instead, it is a debate between the Western and Asian perceptions of feminism. Although an increasing number of Chinese women are emphasizing education and their careers over childbirth, China, as part of Asia, necessarily shares similar perspectives on the empowerment of women. Sex may sell in Western markets because it is part of women's independence, but in China, more conventional ideas exist, and the line between freedom and obscenity is razor thin. Striptease for burlesque, for example, is not considered an art form in the country. As an Asian-born and Asian-raised superstar, she was naturally expected to be influenced by the Asian version. Yet to everyone's astonishment, Lisa went in the opposite way. As a result, her prideful act has converted her into a feminist traitor in the struggle against men's exploitation of women, a hypocrite who relishes objectifying herself as a sexual object to the Western male gaze. Women work so hard to put on our clothes, yet you enjoy taking them off? If this was truly a demonstration of honor, it would not have gotten so much controversy. Do these things quietly if you wish to. Stop preaching your values. It is harmful to young females who lack a sense of right and wrong. Commented by user Aku0909 in Chinese on Instagram. Another American thought described her experience of being sexually assaulted in the United States after revealing that she is from Thailand because so many videos of Thai women dancing in bars on the internet convey the notion that Thai women are prostitutes. I have been proud of Lisa's achievements until I saw her start strip dancing and teasing on YouTube. It is not a dance art war. Now she advertises to the world that Thai women are whores. 
said an Instagram user named Thai Psychic. Many Chinese netizens voiced their confusion and disappointment with Lisa's actions, but what they are most concerned about is that this may result in a major leap backward in the long battle against subordinate status of women. This is everyone's business. Lisa may be able to ignore floods of criticism from Chinese netizens, but Angela Baby and Jenny Jang, who reportedly watched the show, are not so lucky. Ironically, harsh comments, satire, and criticism are crammed into a patriotic feed posted on both the Weibo accounts denouncing their participation in the Lisa program. Although none of them formally responded to the question, and Crazy House pairs clarified for Angela Baby, saying that she has never watched a show there. Chinese fans don't seem to believe it. The call for the ban on them is resounding. And given China's increasingly severe regulations on public figures' behavior, such an incident is bound to have a negative impact on their career. Not only was Angela Baby's cookery show canceled, but she was also absent from the recording as one of the veteran actors for the reputable reality show Running Man. Jenny Jang's life isn't getting any easier. A promotional poster for her new drama, Good Things Come in Twos, which was a group portrait featuring her character, was deleted by China's national television station, and a new poster with only the leads replace it. Some claim that the broadcaster has also halted promotion of the drama, implying that no other TV network will purchase it for a second cycle of showing. Finally, she appears to walk out of her marriage with a cheating husband. Now she has hit rock bottom again with all of her hard work and popularity garnered during the reality show Sisters Who Make Waves gun down the drain. China has an especially low tolerance for wrongdoing by celebrities in the entertainment industry. Setting a positive citizenship example for the public is seen as a default quality of their line of work. As a result, their activities are constantly scrutinized by the public, and any error could result in the permanent destruction of their career. The disappearances of pianist Li Yundi and actress Li Yifeng, following their arrest for alleged prostitution, Chris Wu's 13-year imprisonment for one of China's most high-profile sexual assault cases, and Fan Bingbing's disappearance following a $70 million tax evasion scandal, to mention a few. With all of these previous incidents, Angela Baby and Jenny Jiang's future may be seriously jeopardized. Returning to Lisa's Paris dance, I'm sure the theory in China would be easier to understand. Because the seemingly ideal idols for young girls undermines the bottom line, imagine how distraught the parents are when they see their daughter dancing naked because she believes what her idol did is cool and wants to be like her. Whatever one thinks of Lisa's crazy horse performance, one thing is certain. South Korea is one step closer to bringing the culture to the coveted European and American markets. Whether it was planned or not, China's dramatic reaction to Lisa's dance has successfully drawn more attention to K-pop girls from around the world than ever imagined. From the earlier Oscar-winning film Parasite to the well-known K-pop group BTS, more South Korean groups are following in their footsteps, a clear indication that the money will also travel to the West. As a result, any contentious matter may serve as a stepping stone for the next generation to enter the Western market. When Chinese netizens are still debating the morality standard for entertaining celebrities and denouncing those who transgress, the powerful bosses behind K-pop stars are most likely planning another shockwave with the culture to refresh trendy fashion in the West. China holds celebrities to high standards because they entrust a portion of their hope in them to restore skewed social norms, while South Korean superstars can be used more as something to open the channel for more money to flow, their value or position might alter at any time. Nobody knows why Lisa made such a daring decision, or whether the decision was even hers to make in the first place. She never means to explain anything more, or she doesn't need to say anything because her work of making people see her is already perfectly done.